Coming up on Shalom TV, we step inside a music workshop to meet two very talented musicians. Find out more about the PNF with Paul Wilkinson. Hit the road to Kavarim with Year 8 students and much more on Shalom TV. Hello and welcome again to Shalom TV. We start the show today inviting students, parents and friends to march on Anzac Day, 25th of April. Let's take some time to reflect on this very important day. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. For a young boy as I was then, I was only 16. Now I'm making apologies for myself, which I should not be doing. I should bloody well be proud of the fact that I was there. And I wasn't proud. I was bloody frightened. I was scared bloody stiff. And I don't want to remember it. I'm bloody sorry to remember it. I try to eradicate it from memory. But it's not possible, it's not possible to eradicate some of those things. We remember the Anzacs, the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. We remember the contribution of their brothers and sisters from New Zealand. That freedom is the sure possession of those alone who have the courage to defend it. I do not like war. War is a word of only three letters. W for War Memorial such as our Bagara one, facing the sea. A for end that day, and R for remembering. Each has gained a glorious grave, not the burial fault of earth where they lie, but the living tomb of everlasting remembrance, wherein their glory is enshrined, for the whole earth is a tomb of heroes. Monuments may rise and tablets be set up to them in their own land that no pen or chisel has traced, not on stone or brass, but on the living hearts of humanity. Please all make your achievements to protect this wonderful land and lifestyle that we enjoy so much. Paul Wilkinson, the president for the Parents and Friends, sent this clip about exciting changes that are on their way during 2019. G'day, Paul here, President PNF, how are you? Just a really quick video to update you on some changes that are coming to the PNF over 2019. These are great changes that are focused on getting you and me more engaged in our kids' education. So I'm just about to head up to Rocky now for a quick one and a half day conference where we're going to learn a bit more about it. So. Uh, why don't you tag along? Let's go. This renewed focus on getting parents more engaged with their child's education is also reflected in the recent name change to Catholic School Parents Queensland or CSPQ for short. While I was there, I asked Carmel Nash, Executive Director of CSPQ, why being active participants, not just bystanders in our kids' education, was so important. So if parents are bystanders in their children's education, then it happens to them rather than with them. So the move is to have families really understand the influence they have. About 50 years research says 60 to 80% of the success a child has at school is what happens at home. Families need to be engaged in their children's education because it is what makes a difference to their learning. Involvement is fabulous, but it is all the things like helping at tuck shop, doing those jobs that uh, any adult could do, but engagement is about families genuinely knowing and understanding their children's learning and communicating with their children's school. The take home messages here were very clear. The more we as parents are engaged in our kids' education, the better outcomes for everyone. 
As the PNF, we need to provide events and opportunities to help parents, teachers and kids take those first steps. So guys, it's been an amazing couple of days, met some fantastic people, but now it's time to head home. One of the take home messages for me is that we don't have to do more, we just have to start doing things differently. So keep an eye out for videos and updates as we implement some of these changes that I've learned about today across uh, the PNF and the Shalom community. But in the meantime, I will remind you of the slogan and I apologize for any Trekkie fans out there, but now is the time to engage. We're always looking for volunteers to help in the many activities that we undertake as the PNF. If you'd like to help out or want to find out more, drop us a line at the email below. We'd love to hear from you. As reported in our last show, we looked at cells and how Aboriginal art can work hand in hand. This is the latest update from Mrs Mugden. Well, we had Adrienne Munro come back to the school and provide the students with feedback on their draft paintings. The kids then met in their teams and discussed that feedback and made necessary changes to their paintings. We're at the stage now where the kids have painted their design and they are writing a reflection about their Aboriginal story and the biology around that painting. And the kids will be voting soon as to which paintings will be displayed at the IWC, the Indigenous Wellbeing Centre. We had two very special guests to the college recently with music very much on their minds. Well, I just had the choir and they are really fantastic. They were so good, it's such a big choir and really engaged and they tried lots of new things. We didn't use any sheet music at all. They learned everything by ear and just stayed really focused and they've got a great sound and it's uh, very exciting to see that. Well, we're, we're uh, visiting the students here at uh, Shalom College to uh, give them an outsider's uh, technique tips and uh, um, ways that they can present their music and um, it's often the same as what their teachers are saying but it's just um, sometimes it can be said in just a slightly different way and it'll resonate more um, but also it's just a great opportunity to, to workshop with the kids. Uh, it's exciting uh, to come to a school like this where the, the music program is so strong um, and you know the facilities are, are really quite amazing. I, and I, I spent some time sharing that with the students today. Um, you know that that don't don't just rest on all of that. You know, put your own uh, work into it. Um, these the intermediate students here in years nine and ten are so thirsty for in things in their life, and there's so much in their life you know to, to manage and do. I think music, um, you know, is, is a, a great endeavour at this age to discover, you know, another language, if you like. And also, I, I believe that the science is out now on, on music being beneficial and the art being beneficial to your education. And a, truly, an education is not complete without it. What, what we see here, though, at the school is a really um, complete and comprehensive education because it includes uh, jazz, it includes improvisation, it includes the creative side of music as well as the disciplinary side and I think that's what's special. This theatre is so impressive, uh, I was really enjoying working with the choir on the stage because it's a very um, beautiful acoustics and very easy to sing. Uh, we're going to uh, Perth and Darwin, we run music camps up in Darwin for Indigenous schools and we do, uh, and for the Smith family, um, who are very engaged in music, um, developing music programs up there. And we, um, yeah, we travel, uh, Jackie and I, my wife and I travel most of the year and then settle back home again in Sydney uh, in about late November, early December for, to be with our family. <laughs> but it's, it's a life on the road um, and uh, I think that's a, you know, a, a good part of it for our, like we love the country and we, we like sharing uh, and seeing places like this, you know, in, in a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> Kavarim is our outdoor education centre. We hopped on board our bus with year eight students to see the challenges that they will face.
Lily's just lined up the uh, centipede blindfold. So, uh, done a fantastic job, very good support crew, talking her up. So uh, yeah, they're going really, really well, having a great two days, so it's been fantastic. The boys over there are trying really hard on the crate stack, but I don't think they'll get the record. Um, the course is all about trusting yourself, trusting other people in the group. Yep, that safety is all good to come off. Is it scary? No, it's not scary. It's really fun blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom students recently travelled to Cambodia to work and to learn more about themselves. Here is a short video that they produced on their trip. You've got to go, go with the feeling, don't let anybody stand in your way. You've got to go, go with the feeling, let it flow over you, now you know It's now time to catch up with our principal, Mr. Dan McMahon. Hi, and welcome to the second edition of Shalom TV. One of the best things I think the college offers to the parents is the ability to sign up your devices at home, your children's devices, to Family Zone. The college invests about $50,000 a year to provide a membership to Family Zone to every family in the Shalom community. This is a great piece of software. This enables parents to control the internet usage um, of, of every device their child uses. The ones at home, their phones, their tablets, their iPads. If you are worried about or concerned about what your child views, how much time they use their device, Family Zone is the solution. Unfortunately though, at the moment, only about 20% of our parent population have enrolled devices in Family Zone. This wonderful service that Shalom offers every family. It's easily accessible through the Shalom website and there's 24 hour support from their service centre. Please have a look at, if you haven't already enrolled your devices on Family Zone, please take some time to have a look at this wonderful service the college offers. On other matters, we're looking forward to already to the 2020 Year 7 intake. On May 3, our enrolments will close for 2020. We already have strong demand for 2020 Year 7. If you have a child in Year 6, or you have friends who have children at that year level and are interested in enrolling at Shalom, please make sure that they're aware of these dates. Download an enrolment package from our website and have it handed into the college by May 3. Easter's fast approaching and we're all looking forward to the end of term. Easter's a wonderful celebration in our Christian calendar. It's a time when we remind ourselves that we're people of hope, people of resurrection. I hope this Easter, every Shalom family will have a wonderful break and uh, 
chance to recharge batteries and to celebrate the resurrection of a God who loves us all. Thank you for watching. For all the sport, we now cross to Riley Johnson. Thanks, Laura. Well, Shalom High Performance Program supports individuals on their path to exceptional heights. Mitchell and Lachlan Parnell are no exception, both second dam black belts in karate with a strong family focus. Um, we sort of started doing like your rugby and your football and your athletics, but it was never sort of really our thing. And we sort of one day drove past karate and sort of tried it out for just a session. And it really was just so engaging. So physically just everything about it was just awesome. We loved it. So it really suited us. It was, yeah, it was what we were supposed to do. So started when we first came to Bundy, uh, um, Shotokan Karate. So I'm with the organisation of TSKF Karate. It's a traditional from ancient Japan, just your, it was originally a world one, but then they broke away and started their own tradition, so it's really come from nothing and built its way up. In 2016 we travelled to Africa and we competed in the ISKF World Cup, and that was a truly phenomenal experience, and we became junior world champions through that. And ISKF is for International Shotokan Karate Federation. I was yeah, we were able to represent Australia in that, it was amazing. Yeah. Having your flag on your dogie, which is your uniform, is just something amazing. Having your country cheer for you, and it's just it so amazing. great. If you do a sport and you struggle to make time, um, see the HPP program, it'll really help you out. Yeah. Mr Robinson's great in that aspect of making sure that he's there for you, because it just really helps so much. Communication's really great as well, it's just fantastic. I'd like to introduce to you Simon Rathbone for him to discuss the 2019 league season. Thanks Riley. Well, the season is ready and raring to go. I popped into an early morning training session and asked the questions on their readiness for game one. Today we're here at the Shalom Confro early morning training session as the side prepares for the upcoming carnival in Bundaberg this year. Coach Neil Feather is putting the side through the hard yards to ensure they're ready and fit. Really good. Uh, I'll keep telling these, telling people that ask me, they're a really talented team across the park. Um, our middle forwards are year 11 students, so they're still putting some size on, but you know, they've, they've got really good skill, they tackle well, they're committed, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about what they can achieve this year. Oh look, all the boys, like we're pretty getting into training that a fair bit, we're all feeling sore, but we all know that's better in the long run, that the carnival will be good for us. There is so much talent here, um, and, and these kids are very proud to represent not only Shalom, but the Bundaberg community on, on a really big scale. I mean, there's teams from uh, you know, New South Wales as well as all over Queensland, so it's a massive tournament. A great chance for them to um, you know, show how good they are at what they do, which is going to be great. We all say we love the trip away with the boys, but it's going to be better sleeping in your own bed, being able to get out and rip into them the next day. I think right across the board they're going to be great, but Jake Bonus should have a really good tournament. Um, so should Brandon Grill, so should Brad Clark uh, and Flynn Perkis. I'd expect a fair bit out of those guys. But again, right across the, the field, they're, they're going to show some, some pretty good talent. So everyone should come out and have a look. Yeah, it's going to be um, going to be pretty sad to leave school football. It's been a big influence on my football, probably more than club football has. But, you know, we all have to say goodbye sometime. Well, that's about it from us. But before we go, we'll leave you with some fun. Colour fun with the Senior Jazz Band. Bye. Bye. Yeah.